hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be looking at how we can trade gold and some currency pairs on the lower time frames okay but we will start with gold uh on the daily time frame on the daily time frame i can see uh, the price of gold uh trying to recover uh looking at the pattern the candlestick pattern that we have around here uh price of gold is attempting to recover and break free from this uh, descending trend line we might be seeing something like a retest of the trend line okay it's likely before price uh, might likely retrace up a bit or we might just see price continue the downward trend but that's that on the daily time frame on the four hour time frame uh, the price of gold is currently ranging ranging above uh, the uh, descending this descending trend line okay we have this uh, bottom here we have another bottom around here you can see the price of gold uh, trying to uh, rise but it appears as if uh, the bears are already stepping in and you can see break of this ascending trend line as price tries to drop okay on the one hour time frame uh, you can see price is currently ranging the range is between the range top where we have uh, this is range top is our range top that's the 1974 area and then we have the range bottom it's our range bottom on the screen and that's the 1954 area so you might see price uh, drop to this level and bounce for the range to continue okay so that's that for the one hour time frame on the 30 minutes time frame the price of gold is currently ranging uh it's ranging well, we can see price the price from a bottom around here another bottom and we can see the structure broken for price to rise up and price is currently ranging and ranging okay so that's that for uh the one uh, 30 minutes time frame let's look at what we have on the 15 minutes time frame what we have price is still ranging so uh more like price is waiting for a particular uh news data release so we have a trend line we have this trend line it's descending trend line uh on price and then we have uh, this particular uh, trend line on price all right so price might get to this point and then bounce up until we have a breakout. On the five minutes time frame, price of gold is currently uh, bearish. We have a high, a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then we have a high, we have a low, lower low, lower high, a low, a higher high. We have a lower low, a lower high, lower low, lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then we have this high, we have this lower low. So price of gold is bearish on the five minute side frame. So you might want to sell down to uh, this particular point. So I'm talking about the one nine five nine area if you want to scalp on the one minute time frame on the one minute time frame you can see that the price of gold the bears are currently in the market so you may want to look for selling opportunities on gold okay let's take a look at gbp usd on the daily time frame what do we have and we can see that price has gone up but we have a break of this ascending trend line we have a break towards this point where we have a swing low we have a swing low around here and price is currently rising up i see price rising to 1.24990 level for gbp usd on the daily time frame on the four hour time frame we can see that uh, we have uh, this high this low lower high lower low then we have a higher high more like a break of this structure or a change of character higher low okay higher high higher low of course we have what we are looking at is more like a higher high that's about to form and we have this descending trend line that was broken and retested 
and the buyers are currently trying to push price up uh, so we might have considered buying uh uh gbp usd cable up to 1.24990 area of course on the on the one hour time frame we can see that price is forming higher highs higher low okay we have this low we have this high we have this higher higher low and we have this higher high this high is higher than this high so we might consider buying gbp usd for now so long as this trend line is respected, this trend line continues to be respected and this particular structure is broken, we might see price printing higher highs. All right, on the 30 minutes time frame, you can see that more like a flag pattern, a bullish flag pattern that is about to be broken and price continues to, uh, you know, form higher lows, okay, for price to print higher high so you might consider buying gbp usd uh look at you might consider buying gbp usd as the bulls are active look at look at this trend line is currently being broken as we as i speak uh, the bulls are active so you might buy uh consider buying gbp usd look at the bear the bulls keep trying to push price up no matter the resistance from the bears price price continues to print higher highs so you might want to buy up to 1.24990 level but if price is going to drop we have this other block on the four hour time frame we have this particular other block that might serve as support to price so that's that for gbp usd let's take a look a quick look at euro usd euro usd has been printing you know lower lows lower high lower low lower more like a bearish uh trend but yesterday's candlestick you can see that the, this the bears pushed price to this point and the bulls were able to recover price up to half of yesterday's uh down downward movement okay down price movement so more like the bulls the bulls are able to you know resist the the pressure downward so more like the bulls are about stepping in so you might want to check this particular area uh to know if price are found support especially at this particular uh order block on the daily time frame for euro usd Let's talk about this order block okay more like price attempted to find support and we might have a swing low around here so that's that for uh euro usd on the daily time frame on the four hour time frame we can see that the bulls are trying to push right up this more like a tweezer bottom the tweezer bottom candlestick pattern so the bulls are trying to push by the but the challenge for the bulls or the buyers will be this descending trend line. and as much as this descending trend line is respected price will continue to drop but if it's broken especially if the descending trend line is broken around this point uh price might have to contend with this other block we're talking about this particular other block on the uh four hour time frame uh price might contain with that particular order block just a minute i'm talking about this order block okay price might have to contain with that particular order block this very other block might serve as resistance to price i'm talking about the 1.0735 uh area so but in as much as uh the price is still downtrend you might want to look for uh selling opportunities until we have like a change of character or a break of structure to the upside looking at the one hour time frame we can see that price has formed a left inverted left shoulder we have the inverted head and the inverted right shoulder forming on the one hour time frame this is the one hour time frame and this current candlestick is a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern and you can see that the buyers are coming in as price continues to rise so uh on the 30 minutes time frame we can see that the buyers are stepping in the buyers are stepping in and we might want to see we might see something like a break to the upside but if that fails we have this other block that is currently being respected uh this support area that is currently being respected by price 
this support you have this support area that is currently being respected by price okay if price is going to drop it needs to break this area to the downside for price to come to this particular support area talking about the 1.0638 uh support area that's that for the 30 minutes time frame on the 15 minutes time frame we can see that price is currently ranging price of uh, uh euro usd is currently ranging you can see we have uh, we have the range top uh this this is our range top this is our range top and this is the range bottom we need price to break above or below this range for us to uh ascertain which direction price is going for euro usd uh for euro usd on the five minutes time frame we can see that uh, uh there's a balance between the buyers and the seller so we might want to wait for uh price to break above or below the range before we take a decision on the one minute time frame what do we have you can see that price is ranging so you might want to wait for range breakout on euro exit before you place your trade uh, make your trade decision but the overall direction on the daily time frame is downwards it's bearish trend and the overall direction on far time frame is still bearish for USD JPY on the daily time frame, we can see that the price of USD JPY is currently going up. It's in an uptrend on the daily time frame. And on the four hour time frame, what we have, you can see price is ranging and price is trying to recover. The price of USD JPY is trying to recover on the four hour time frame. Okay, uh, for one hour time frame, we can see that the bulls are in the market. And the bulls are pushing price although price is expressing more like a resistance at this particular order block but uh the overall direction is still bullish all right on the 30 minutes time frame uh the overall direction of usd jpy is currently bullish on the 30 minutes time frame as the buyers are already in the market on the 15 minutes time frame it's still bullish you can have the ascending trend line you might consider buying up to 139.957 for USD JPY. Okay, on the five minutes time frame, what we have price is ranging currently, but the overall direction is bullish. On the one minute time frame, price is ranging, but the overall direction is bullish. You might want to wait wait for uh the breakout above the range top. These are range top. The 139.758 is the range top uh you might want to wait for a break above that top uh for you to buy us the jpy the range bottom is 139.6 uh zero level so that's that for today's analysis on how to trade uh gold and currency pairs uh talking about gbp usd euro usd usd jpy if you are yet to subscribe to the channel why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like the video go ahead and click the like button uh, if, you, if you are yet to smash the bell button below the video for notification, why don't you do that right now? You can drop comments below the video. You can ask questions. We try as much as possible to respond to your questions. All right. You can go to our website, www.beanfxtrader.com to learn more on how to trade. You can also go to another website of us, fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade. If you like, come your way tomorrow. It's bye for now.